Once again, we start the show with some amazing music. The Spin Cast Cycling Show. I'm Brian Kellison. Lisa Reese and Undisclosed Location, Brian White. Uh, Casey had some, uh, uh, whatever, undisclosed uh, conflicts. And so he's uh, going to join us probably next week, hopefully. I feel like he's on the show more when he's actually not part of the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So and then we're maybe like, hey, he's, man, you're yeah, yeah. in, and then he's like, "No, I can't make it." Anytime. Right? Yeah, and we're making assets for him to be a part of the show officially. So, but uh, he's sort of he's an open invitation with Casey Shum. Uh, so we're just going to get into it. Uh, let's talk about like how how was everyone's week? Look, my week well, was good. Uh, Lisa yeah, Reese, Lisa Lisa, Lisa, Lisa Reese's week was good. Uh, Brian, you have a good week. Let's just get that out of the. Yeah, yeah? everything was okay. pretty good. All right, Lee, how was your race? I actually did a Zwift race. Uh, I had a zero. So it was basically for science because I had completely zeroed out. I had no profile in Zwift. It had been like three months since the last time I rode. And I thought, this is interesting. Let's try this. So I did some random rides, doing some ERG workouts, nothing hard. And Zwift gave me a 1.7 race score. And it actually wouldn't let me join any races at all. And then about after my third random ride, it unlocked and it let me, it didn't tell me it unlocked. I just went to look for a Zwift racing score race and it let me sign up this time before. So it doesn't even his... indicate that you are like, no. Oh, now you're free to, now you're free to join the event. It was like, it gave me like this sticker that said like, you need to race more. And I'm like, I'm trying. Oh, really? <laughs> Yeah. Did it say that in so like like the unlocking? Is yeah, it like so the you, unlocking banner at the bottom? Yeah. So when you go into a Zwift racing score and you have a very either a low score or no past history, where you sign up for your race score race, like zero to three hundred, four fifty mm -hmm, to five hundred, mm -hmm. it had nothing. It just had a a sticker that said race more. Before you can unlock Wait, racing. This was in the app or on the companion app? Both in the on the website and the companion app. Oh wow. Okay. So I just randomly thought, maybe I've, you know, ridden three times now. Let's try this. And it let me go in a Zwift racing score race. So I had a score of 1.7. Hold on, I have a question. Because I just thought of it. You're saying you had zero, or you had you had nil. You had nothing. Nothing. Not even zero. They wouldn't even let you in with zero zero because you did not exist. So yeah. you had to ride just something to, yeah, to spool up some data into them so that they could go, oh, you're zero. It wasn't like you had because it the this is part of this with yeah. labs thing. This is a note. You're saying zero allows you to enter a race and you couldn't even enter with zero. With zero. So yeah. So you don't even have zero. I didn't have zero. I it's and so after three <laughs> ERG workouts. You, you know, it's probably a total least. of about two and a half, three hours of riding. I had a racer score of 1.7. Okay. And it didn't allow me at first, but then maybe the next day it was going, okay, you got a 1.7 because it is zero to 300. I have a 1.7. Yeah. Like, why did, why did it lock? Well, this is, this is beta of these with labs. They should know this, that like zero does not mean zero. Well, I found that out really quickly. Yeah, but you found that out. You're the you're the user so in the actual race. So I entered the zero to three hundred race, and I'm like, because before my score got erased, like before I didn't ride in indoor for three and a half months, I actually had a racer score of four seventy eight. I was like, oh, it showed oh. you your previous score. My yeah, well, I knew what my previous score oh, before okay. I entered the race. I knew not having ridden indoor my profile zeros out uh, so i was 478 so i'm thinking i'm better in shape than i was when i was at 478 i'm going to go into this zero to 300 i mean you know what i'm just going to sit in the pack i'm just going to chill because i don't want to sandbag and destroy everybody because i'm mm -hmm. 478 <laughs> how many people so, were in your how many people were in the zero to 300 27 signed up okay i believe it was 21 actually raced and the moment the clock hit zero, I went, oh, shit, this is a Zwift race. 
we were doing 400 watts out of the gate. This is zero to 300. What is going on? I almost got dropped. I managed to stick with the lead. There was like a lead group of eight guys. One guy goes off the front, 3.7. Gone. He's got a 20 second lead. The group of us, you know, second to seventh, there's actually chatter, which I appreciated. One guy was like, hey, there's some flats. Let that guy go. There's plenty of time for us to stay together and work together on the flats to reel them in. Thought, awesome. The climb is that punchy course that goes through Titan's Grove and then out to the new area, the Crab Shack. Yeah, the Titan's Grove. Crab Shack. I was running 400 watts up the hill to stay with the lead group, zero to 300. Everyone was doing in the mid threes. <laughs> so as we were talking before, the whole A, B, C, D thing still stuck in your mind. You're still going, what the heck? This is zero to 300. These should be like low Ds, but no, all these guys are like mid Bs. So anyways, I actually got dropped. Physically like, mid Bs, but racing, physically. racing, yeah. whatever, know-how. And that's, yes. the, that's the theory. The theory is, oh, race results, racing yeah. well, results will help thin this yeah. out. So are these all new people? That's the sort of thing. Well, yeah, and then halfway through the race, I kind of thought that too. Maybe all these guys are in the exact same situation as me. They're just coming back from summer. They have a really low racer score, and they're like, hey, let's try racing. Well, because obviously that dude running 3.7, he got bumped after the finish to over 300. He mm -hmm. is now in the 400 to 500 class. But it was super interesting because I seriously, I went into the race thinking that I was going to sit in the pack, sprint for the win and crush everyone. And I got dropped and I ended up eighth. And then I actually was seventh. There was a guy a minute behind me. He chased me down doing like 3.4. So you had a good experience. It was good. It was interesting because it was just like me typical Zwift race at first, though. I got it was a hard race. And my expectation was I was going to win. <laughs> right. So what other you know, takeaways are from it that you got? Uh, I appreciate. I think the racer score is going to work once they get it out there to everyone. It needs to be on every race. If you're going to do score, every single race has got to do it. But doesn't every single effort have to be applied to your to your well, racing that's what score? Does happen is, but I don't like the seed score thing. I think ultimately it needs to be on your race results. And there's, I know Marble and Casey have had some weird things where, you Big know, time. you know, like you you win a race or you don't win, you beat someone and their score still went up. Yeah, yeah, and their score is higher than you. Like it should be like a real ladder system. So I think Zwift did some weird tweaks on the back end that, uh, you know, I think it should be more true ladder. You beat someone, your their score goes down, your score goes up. But isn't that the race? Isn't that the race scoring in Zwift Power? It's just, it's, it's kinda, just results. Yeah. yeah. And so this is why I'm saying like all the data goes in. This touches on the the double dipping thing, which is which we. Marblehead and I both had uh, a discussion in our in our respective shows, but the ZFTP Z map, mm -hmm. along with the result of a race against other people that are similarly scored than you, is what goes into this sort oh. of racing score. Am I yes, yeah, and that's why I think my original racing score was so high because I do very well at a ramp test. I can punch above <laughs> my true fitness in a ramp test. Okay. So when I do a ramp test, I usually score well at like 315 FTP. That is not my real FTP at all. It's more like 290. Oh, so you but test well. I but, test well on a race, ramp test. Yeah, but race worse. Which is and worse. I, which and is, I race, and I race I better and test yeah. horribly. Well, and uh, that course in particular is very punchy. I've been training for the Belgian waffle ride. It's, it's going to take me 11 hours. I have done nothing as far as punchy efforts. So what happened was in that race, after about three punchy efforts, I was like, I'm done. Like I'm, <laughs> I've trained to a point where I can ride at 225 watts for 10 hours. 
that's what I'm, my goal is not to do 400 for five seconds, 400 for five seconds, 400 for five seconds. You know, the fifth time I did 400 for five seconds, I was like, nope, legs are, you know, toast. Wow. So, so, we need, so this needs So go ahead, Brian, go ahead, Brian. Uh, going back to the race score where Lee's starting at zero and which factors into the, the double dipping aspect. Um, it, I think it was after the show last week. It was a Monday. Yeah, I think it was the day after. I was giving you a hard time. So anyone that doesn't know or well, isn't, isn't versed on what double dipping is, it's an inside yeah. joke between Brian and I about how he would always ride two different platforms because he has he likes to record two different fit file i think this is i think this is the original let me let me let me let me let me try to explain it my how i interpret it and then you explain you can you can correct me but it's hey i record on because he doesn't roll a, a com bike computer he rolls two apps so he has two recordings uh on his indoor workouts or work whatever indoor rides I given him a hard time about double dipping because it's like, oh, you're 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 work you're riding in an indie velo or you're riding in my whoosh and you're getting your XP, which is the joke, is just yeah. do the efforts the in XP. one platform for the XP. But then he brings us brings up a good point. Is that is that an accurate uh reason yeah. why you why you always did double dipping? Last year double dipping was for the beta testing with indie velo and then uh I liked it because Indievelo recorded my information. They recorded the, the dual recording everything in one fit file. I didn't have to go search anywhere. I just okay. had one fit file that had it. Well, once I kind of got, I moved away from Indievelo a little bit. I was just doing Zwift. And then this year is when I started doing my whoosh and Zwift because of this exact thing with the race score. Oh, not race score, but with just them using all your data. My yeah. whoosh has the little profile of you they know exactly you yeah, know yeah. what you are and then zwift does the same thing so it's essentially i could do what zavarice did just not ride my whoosh race on it get you know move down maybe even to c depends on how well you draft yeah, yeah or the race score bump down and that's the nowadays that's why i do double dip because of that I yeah, mean, so the, 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 what the, what I was joking and giving a hard time about actually is beneficial from a, now that there's, uh, there's a reason different, to do it. Yeah. There's a reason to do it because if like he's, have to. he was explaining it, yes, is if you're sending data to Zwift and not sending data to my whoosh or sending data to Indie Velo and not sending it to Zwift, then Zw like, like Lee had is he didn't have any data. And he yeah. was in he was in limbo. He wasn't even in a zero. He wasn't. In, then he became one point yeah. seven. So he had to do that. If there's no way for him for for Zwift because Zwift doesn't pull from other people, yeah, it only just, take yeah it only takes whatever you're giving it. It pushes yeah. everywhere. And so it only the argument it for one place. yeah go ahead. No, it just receives it to one place. So if you're not giving it anything, you can essentially sandbag. That, that yeah, could yeah, be yeah. a new statement. You could do your training on my roof. Right. And, and so, develop. yeah, like, so like uh, training peaks or Garmin, like it, like Zwift pushes to everywhere. It pushes to Strava, pushes to Garmin, pushes to uh, training peaks, it pushes it's to like, a, but it, it's not pulling it in. So if you yeah. don't do a ride in Zwift, which is what I do a lot, because I've been doing my Wahoo system. Uh, if, if I, I'm not getting credit for these, indoor efforts these these sort of race simulation or any of my workouts they're not going into zwift so my data into zwift is just what i give it mm -hmm. so that's why i should have been double dipping in zwift to kind of keep my rider uh, in, uh data going in i should yeah. also do that with Zwift. Uh, my whoosh that's that it's like hey there is a there is a reason for double dipping in that sense, right. it's not the negative, like, oh, I'm trying to get all my trinkets and all my, because I give yeah. them a hard time about all the unlocks. It's not about when that. Think it's about, about it, getting the, the data to that system. Yeah. When you think about the XP and all that, it really doesn't matter. Zwift kind of ruined it. I'm already leveled 100, 38 million drops. I, I have four bikes. I'm not going to buy another one. Um, I'll do any jersey unlock. I'll do that. But uh, the, the kits and stuff, or the frames and stuff don't really matter to me. Um, yeah. But, but in for, my whoosh, you can import your levels, which I haven't. I'm doing it the hard way. 
Yeah, but, so my uh, whoosh can pull data in from yeah. other. Now, are they pulling data in from Zwift? Or are they pulling data in from Strava? Well, Strava. if you were an original, like, I guess within the first week or something, you could do Strava. That's how our favorite uh, South African is like level 150. They pulled in from his Strava. And then I know someone else tried to do it and it only allowed yeah. Zwift. Strava was not an option. But mm -hmm. they're not pulling in your Strava fitness data. It's literally they're just pulling in, oh, you rode yeah. 75,000 kilometers this many days, and this is how much elevation you have. But That's it. what's going to have to happen is I think a lot of these, they're going to have to reverse, you know, like if you training peaks, trainer road, you know, a lot of these training programs pull in outside rides, indoor rides. They don't discriminate. You ride your bike, it pulls in that data. Mm -hmm. I think Zwift and my whoosh are going to have to do this as well. If I ride outside, Zwift is going to ha might have to take that into account. Otherwise, you have to double dip. You have to keep your fitness yeah. signature in both apps equivalent. Maybe even Indie Velo you need to as well because Indie Velo looks at that data. Yeah. I. It I believe Ruby is the only one that does uh, indoor and outdoor. That's a cycling uh, simulated platform. System, Wahoo System, I believe does. No, no, they push. They push to other places. I think you can import stuff anywhere you want, but manually. So that's the sort of thing is if I... Like I have tons of stuff going to Strava that, you know, like I have, let's say I do it, let's say I do a double dip. I do Strava, or excuse me, I do Zwift and my whoosh. And then I do like a system workout, which I've done on my stream. I've streamed three, four things at one time. Yeah. That all goes to Strava. And then I send to, and I didn't delete any of the rides in Strava. Like there's multiple rides on Strava. It's like, oh, well you did, you did three rides. I didn't, I did one ride and it yeah. was recorded three times. Then I send that to my whoosh. Or let's say I don't do the my whoosh one, but regardless, it's now. Oh, it only takes your date, your uh, your total mileage or whatever distance. That's that's easily manipulative, right? You right. can manipulate it to a certain way, like oh, I'm level 160, and you were not really. Yeah, but it but yeah. that's just that's just like uh, like a that's that's just getting levels, maybe opening things up or whatever. Like, you don't like the, my whoosh sort of like pulling in uh, other, your other outside rides or, or your, whatever you did before uh, you started on my whoosh, you can bring that over. That is not performance for verification stuff. No, it's, it's just simply for the levels. Yeah. 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 So you, if you can do, sorry, sorry, let me finish this one oh. last thing. You can do a, not like a stupid or like a dumb trainer, like my Le Monde, and it doesn't do distance. And it doesn't do elevation. It's not simulating anything. All it is is just it's just giving you resistance so you can do a power meter workout or a non-elevation thing. The distance is not recorded and the elevation isn't recorded, but you're putting out a performance effort. So that is where it's like these platforms, it'd be nice to have some more clarity on what kind of uh, information is necessary to maintain status on the on the platform yeah right yeah the and it, like the gamer side of it for for me it's like if you it's kind of watered that down you know what i mean bringing it mm -hmm. in from other places but my whoosh does have a point because you did the work somewhere it might not have been my whoosh but you did the work so it is yeah, but bad. that's more of like a status symbol rather yeah. than rather than, hey, I'm race because you can't like you have to do a power passport test. So you have to do it. You have to do a test in yeah. my whoosh. You have to do a test in in Zwift, I believe, to race. Unless you unless how does Zwift know that you're who you are? The, you, there outside, is an outside of, outside portal. outside of the yeah yeah outside of the elite portal thing. But like oh, yeah, if you're doing yeah. like a run of the mill casual event and they you want, they want some verification. It, yeah. You just take it, you know, that guy is being truthful. I'd say you just have faith in your other humans. That's it. So it's in just like my whoosh. Now I will say my uh, Casey Shum has been doing the, o, I think it's the OTR. 
excuse me, Friday Masters Series, I think that's what it is. And they, it, since it's an event, it's not verified, but they annulled two people that were, they, they had some performances that weren't exactly uh, past this, the sniff test. And okay. they, they annulled them from the results. And this is just a community race. Okay. I don't know, outside Breaking. of your annulment, <laughs> if... Mine, current, does anyone know why I got an old? Let's let's re, let's. Yeah, let's re rehash why. that. A wound. I did finish last in a race. I finished last in this first whip games race, and I just didn't care to imper to send because you have to send. I didn't read the race rule book all the way to its entirety, and a I didn't send breaker. my yeah I didn't send my fit file after within the time frame, and that's why I got an old friend of the show, Bjorn Ossenbrink, nulled me. Yeah, that's the reason why. So. Uh, keep drinking an old yeah now going back to the start <laughs> of the race score i just had to get the annulment in there oh, gotta so, drink it again i love it <laughs> on monday <laughs> if anyone out in chat or if you scan through facebook or the zwift companion app anything to do with a race score you're going to see some people be like dude i lost all kind of points on I was streaming it and I was on the Jurassic Coast race and I'm hammering up the hill. Boom, trainer just flat out disconnects, direct connect gone. And I, I pair it again, I start going, boom, again. I've never had a direct connect since I got my V6 drop out, whatever. So before the race, I was racing score 702. I finished the race. Now I did, now I didn't just give up. I tried catching people in front of me and, uh, I finished the race. I was 698. I think that was Sunday morning. Monday morning, my race score is 616. I lost 80 points overnight. So you lost it or or that they just they redid it they redid the math and they they slotted you in where you're supposed to be. This is the crazy thing. Anyone the thing is we don't know. Yeah, K Casey Shum and I, very similar, you know, we race well together. We work together a lot, and we finish much better than our actual ability. So I've had, I don't know how many total race score events. I'm going to say 10, maybe 12. In three of them, I have not finished in the top, say, eight, you know, out of a large group. You know, most of them I'm in the top on the podium or, you know, fourth or whatever. So two of them I did just as a test. I lost nine points. There was like eight people in one, 11 another. And I finished, I actually beat a couple of guys doing zone two and I lost nine points. And these were some of the first original ones. And then this other one just happened. Well, then there's no reason for me to lose 80 points just by finishing whatever Why? it was. Why? 24th or whatever. Why? But here... My whole entire history of race score was basically reset when Zwift did some recalculations. No, but Casey why? why I, hold on. Can you explain to me why you you shouldn't have lost scoring? Well, I was 702 before the race. Yeah. And I did that. Now, I finished 30th or whatever out of, say, 35. Now, I did still beat some people even with those dropouts. And after the race, I was 698. And everyone knows by now, the next day, they will, uh, they, it, it'll but, change a little bit. But you know the quality of riders you're racing against, and that's why yeah. you feel like it's, so you're treating it, theoretically, you're treating it like the race, the rank racing score on Zwift Power. Yeah. It's like, if you beat somebody that's a higher rank than you, you should get their points regardless of your Z map and ZFTP that's calculated into it. So I, I'm, I'm, that's why I'm asking, do you have a clear understanding of why you lost points? We are in the process, Casey and I, we messaged back and forth, got in the forums. It, it, there, had, there was a reset. Zwift, whenever they did the whole, you know, we kind of let you go 15% below your seed score. Because before it was hard capped, you couldn't go below. Now you have fifteen percent drift below. Something happened, and it's not just me. There's I'm going to say several people that have lost thirty, forty, and me in my case eighty points. 
It's like they went clear back to the beginning and reset certain people. I went through the history of my race score events. I started originally at 536. And now my original first race, I'm at like a, a 556 or something like that. Like my whole entire beginning is All different. Right. And uh, we, Lee, met, Casey and I have been in contact with Tim Henson, who was, you know, in it. And we've yet to hear back. We gave him all the information, okay. gave him the numbers. And we're still waiting to hear. He's looking into what went on. Cause there's no reason I am all a right. legit. Lee, I want you to get your, your race results up. Cause we're going to go through this. Okay. I want to, I want to deep dive on this. Cause I yeah, still don't no understand. Legit reason. I don't. Well, there's no legit reason, but you haven't still haven't given me a reason. Like you're like, I think I know it's essentially you're saying like, I think I know why I well, dropped in score. And the, now, we were, is there a, is there something that's explaining it? Like, this is the reason why you dropped, or are we still in this sort of like Zwift labs, this sort of like, well, I don't faking people out because yeah. it's like, Oh, it's beta land. And we can not, we can not say anything and have you try to figure it out on your own. Yeah, T Tim had said that they did some make some changes behind the scenes. And Where's the race score? It caused people to, certain people to have large effects. That's all I know. I haven't heard anything oh. else. Why mine is so different. Race score, race score is, is gone. gone. They've removed no it. No way. Click the I. Click the I. We ha you have a screenshot from that you sent us. This is live. This is Zwift.com right now, right? Yeah, it's go go bring that screenshot up from from Discord, for the for the non of uh, audio or the non visual audience or the yeah. audio only audience. So Lee yeah. and I were talking about this and like I love Brian's trying to di deep dive into something he can't explain, which is the reason why we're going into this world. But Lee sent a uh, screenshot of his his uh his the thing we just talked about his race, and it had the race rank. There's the race score in the middle right there. The yeah. big arrows up up and down. And so now it's like, this is what he had. He screenshotted this. This is awesome. It's not there now. It, it's gone. So zoom in. Can you zoom? Or can is the people get to see it zoomed in? Cause I, I can, yeah, yeah, yeah. There. So in the middle, I, so it's this, it's your, it's your finishing time. Then your, uh, yeah, so what your, the line, your wattage power. And then it's yeah. the race. Then it's the race. So the line score. under the arrow means you exceeded your yes. seed score power. You're right. And then if I you go, just have an arrow, so this, that means you increase, you improve yeah. or, or, uh, it's really interesting to look at it because, this, so this was the zero to 300 category and it was very interesting. Like this person came 12th and they went from 96, down. they went down. Yeah. Like, and that's the thing but, is they didn't show you a previous score, but look, they beat this guy that was 263, 133, yeah. 234, this, but they're at 96. This is why I'm bringing it up because Brian, this is why I'm beating you over the head about this. Is like, can you explain that? How is guy who is 96 went down after he beat these people with these scores? Explain it. Because he's in the bottom half of that race is my assumption. Yes, because there was talk about that as well. But yeah, there's 16 anywhere. people and he finished below that. So you'll lose points. And now he may have only lost two, two to five points. We don't know how many he lost, but he but lost 213, 213 beat a 263 and a 234. And they went down. Well, look at me. Well, I'm 140 and I beat 220, 242, 263, 234. Because I'm yeah. really 478. <laughs> All right, go back to the Zwift.com one. Yeah, so I'm not sure about the exact reason up and down. I know... Look, in every in race I did until I got up to like 690 range to 700, I got nine to 10 points out of every race finish. And then once I got to the 690, 700 range, it might be two, three, four points. It kind of leveled out right there. Wait a sec. Is this the wrong? This is, this is not the right, dude. You're, that's not even the right race. What the heck? Why is it not? That's why there's under... no race score. <laughs> We're there trying to beat a, this word, uh, this guy trying to create this. No, that was, that was a race score race though. Was it? Well, the, the, you, that's an excellent point right there. Uh, oh, that the, is okay. There, there it is. Uh, there's a race score. too many races or there's not enough. Right, of these the race, race score is in there. The Zwift, that, and then no conspiracy. That, was, so that race was someone that I followed 
but their title of the race said race stage five punchy power yeah. which is a zwift race score no race. the punchy powers are not Zwift. the zwift the powers. Yeah, five. this is yeah they're the punchy sure? power series has race score and Regular. zwift categories the rate the all all, all right. the punchy powers they will have race score events all the zwift things will have race score okay. it's just certain times Aaron Allison and Zebro moved up. He won the race. He moved up with a line underneath. What does that mean again? So he the line means if so, if it's an up arrow with the line, it means they've exceeded their seed score FTP or their 20 minute power, or they've gone above what Zwift had previously <sighs> had for their seed score. Okay. We're Brian. I need you to help me figure out why did Aaron Allison move up? All right. How do you so, how do you how do you know that he how do you know that it's accurate that he moved up? With with what they're saying is with that line, just like Savory said, your seed score. So his Z map or his Z FTP increased. So now let's just say his seed score was two thirty. Okay. All right. He increased his FTP from I'll make up a number here. What what is it? One nine, say he increased his FTP from 180 to 194. So that gave him increase. His lowest score now will be, let's just say this 254. Maybe it went from 238 up to 254. So that's what your C score is. And that's where I had the most increase. With my power um, increases, I gained over 100 points in the racing score solely based off the power. Just, you know, when I would set set those numbers, my race score would take massive jumps. And just with the regular race, you know, it was 9 to 11 points every race I did up until I got to 690 range. Okay. So if we wanted to, if we wanted to scrutinize Aaron Allison, we could go find his other racing results. You could see his, if you could find his okay. other racing results, he may have been at, yeah. Because everything you just said was speculative until we know for sure you're giving an example of what yeah, it, would be. it makes sense too because up until this race i'd only done zone two erg workouts so the fact that my 20 minute power was 266 is way the heck more than any of the workouts i've done so the fact that i got an up arrow with the line that makes sense yeah because you increased your 20 minute thing because your data that was going into zwift didn't have your Yes, ERG, I exceeded all your, my, all your yeah, that's basically what it is. I exceeded the information that Zwift. It, so in my whoosh, they might have sent you an email saying, whoa, what the heck? You exceeded yeah. your, you know, your performance testing. And, and I'll tell you why I know my power largely affected my race score is because of the double dipping. And I did the power passport test. Not a race score. I was just riding Tempest Fugit. And I increased like 60 points when I set the 12 minute at 360. When I did that, when, yeah. I got like 60 point increase with my. In a non, so that's the thing. That's the thing that's throwing me off is you are increasing your racing score by not racing. That's my problem. Oh, yes. Oh, well, correct. Or am I, should it be like, oh, every, it's like, it's a racing score. No, it's a Zwift score. It's Zwift. everything in Zwift score. Well, so like Tim Henson in the, uh, or Tim Henson in the Zwift racing app, it solely goes off your race score, which I'm in the upper 1700s, low 1800s. I can't remember my exact number now. And uh, that's just based off race results. Zwift is trying to make it so if like in Lee's case, if you just do zone two and then you're in a low category and you keep winning, if you, if it doesn't look at the anything else you do besides races, you can stay at that low category. So let me get this straight. You did a power passport test on my whoosh mm -hmm. and just rode around free riding on Zwift and yes. your race score went up. That's accurate. Why in the world do we have a racing score now? It should just be a Zwift score. And I, just like whatever, yeah. like I'm never racing. Like you just ride around and you have this Zwift score. Yeah. 
And if you do a Fondo or whatever, your race score changes. Everything it's 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 not. I'm I'm confused at the why are we calling it a race score? It's not racing. It's not a race. No. It's not racing score. I think I'm hoping the end goal is once they've activated this score for all races that they will remove the sort of seed score. I think they're just using the seed score just to get people in somewhat of the correct category, but I'm hoping that it goes away and it's strictly a ladder system. So it will be a race score, but yes, you're totally correct right now. It's your Zwift. It's your Zwift score because you get a Zwift score just by doing a ramp test or riding around in zone one. My, my, my score was 1.7 from doing ERG zone one workouts. Yeah. And I'm not trying to say like, it's a sandbagging thing or, Oh, I, you know, all the, I get, I understand that, but it, it's being marketed as this is going to help racing scores. This or this, this is going to help racing, uh, you know, to help eliminate the categorization or whatever it is. So it's like, it's, it's just, it, it should be invisible now. It should just be like, this is, but I guess people want to know what, what category they're racing in. I just think that this should be invisible and everything should be mass start. I agree with you on that. I much would rather have mass start for all categories. Just. It right. seems like they're just doing a categorization. Like they're instead of doing A, B, C, D, and E, which we talked about before the show, is they've they've cre- they created that, and now it's their thing, and it seems like they're trying to fix something that they created instead of just owning it and going, "This is what we're doing." And why don't they make the racing score part of the categorization score, and just go, "You're in this category because this is your racing score." It's like a new thing to do something. That doesn't need something new. I think, I think it's they just complicated it a bit. It could have been yeah. a lot simpler right. if it was strictly a ladder based. You yeah. win, you do better. You lose, you do worse. You know, you go down the ladder. Yeah, like, I mean, Brian's, just... Brian's doing worse because he's free riding on on Tempest Fugit. It's like, wow, I did a really good effort, and I lost or I gained. Po- would you gain points? I can't remember. What yeah, you I said. gained points. So I gained the, points. Like, oh, so I did the, a really good. You know, to make some comment on what's ride. happening in, in like chat. Points. Yeah. The All idea right. between mass start is you wouldn't be riding with those people to begin with anyways. So the fact that it's a mass start race that everyone starts, all of the higher levels are going to drop you regardless of whether you started with them or not. You would eventually end up riding with the people you should be riding with on a mass start. So it's not like it's anything different happening. Mass start just means you need to do as good as you can. Mass start, yes. Mass start means that everyone's in the race and everyone races. And if all you are, my, yeah, yeah. all my real life crits have been mass start. I hey, am classified. I did, I've done one triathlon, mass start. Gravel rides, mass start. The special people, they move to the front because they have whatever. And it's like, oh, the elites go to the front, but race, everyone, race. it's all done in one day. They all race. It, it, uh, I could barely I hold on to the score uh, separately, start. race well, together, score separately. Yes, the, that's exactly it. You're not I, scored based on the yeah. expert men. Oh, you would still be scored time. based on your lat or your racing score. So you still need to try to beat the people who have, you still need yeah. to do as good as you can but you're not going to be penalized because you didn't beat a 900 level racer. So this, I'm on board with mass start. I like it because I'm able to hang in with the, the tough guys till it gets to a more than a minute effort. But, but for the grand grand masses of Zwift, having categories and separating people makes sense it does because, when it's done well and they don't do it well. That's my problem. Well, is if they did it really well, I would be into it, but they don't, they do it terribly. And then it's like, <laughs> this is what we have. Yeah. So at the moment, having two category systems is a little, and even the, even Zwift math makes Zwift category enforcement 
who knows what the hell is going on there because there's four, six and four, four and four, five guys still in B category. Uh, on paper, they shouldn't be, but I don't understand it. That's a different topic. So I see because they added more pace partners because majority of people are riding at whatever the number was. If you remember the zipped and article article when they added them like 1.8, 1.6 watts per kilogram is the majority of Zwift riders. It's Aunt Bev out doing her thing. So I understand why Zwift wants these categories because like before the show started, I was saying I've watched some videos where people are like, you know, all well, this ain't no fun because whatever I can't, because they, in their mind, these people aren't, they want to be toward the front. So having the categories makes that fun aspect for people okay. and then Zwift okay. wants that because they can bring people I, I know back. The, I know what, I know fun, what my problem is. I know what my problem they is. They bring it back. I want Those Zwift to back. make it fun for me and they don't. That's the problem. Is, and, and, is all these people that like want to justify it and they like they still like Zwift. Zwift does not make it fun for me. I still ride in Zwift and I'm gonna ride in Zwift and do some I'll probably ride in Zwift after this show. Yeah. But it's not fun for me. And I'm right. beating my head against the wall to try to try to jam in some fun and it's still not fun. Well, I think okay, race so is not fun. It doesn't seem like it's fun. It was like, Oh, it's cool. It's like, we're doing it. We're doing it. It's another thing where it's like, it's dragging out too long and they're making it more complicated instead of making it fun. Fun is so, fast. You know, what's not fun. Zwift. Zwift listen, is not fun for me anymore. I, I will say this as someone who can hang with the A's on a lot of rides. It is fun as hell being up. I haven't done a race score since I got demoted from my 700 score. It is fun as hell being with A's and A's pluses and being there almost to the finish. Like that to me is fun. I think me and you yeah, yeah. and maybe race a lot of people in our chat race are all in that. An a. You're, you're like a B that races with A's. Race yeah. and A's being the, bo being the bottom A. Right. That and all the guys are 20 years older than you. Yeah. Right. And be like, oh, this is fun. This is a lot of fun. Hey, if I get to hang with the A's, because you're a B. I was a B and I got booted out of my race <laughs> yeah. because I went too hard. I'm not good enough to be an A, but I race yeah. in B's because my category in Zwift was B and I got, I don't even exist in that race. And I won <laughs> the race. Fun? You might have fun. I haven't had fun in a while. Yeah, I I understand what you're saying. No, like I'm not. It's f oh my god, it's so much fun. when you're a C and you're hanging with the B's. Oh, it's so much fun when you're like barely hanging on with the A's and you are an A. It's not yeah. fun. That not fun. And, and, and a, there's been a lot going through chat, and I've only, I I'm not trying to ignore anyone, but I've just picked up what Casey ignore said. Ignore chat, please. Yeah, <laughs> sit in the menu and ignore chat. Yes. Yeah. The <laughs> Uh, and, and I know we've said it before the categories like the A and that man it, we, we do have to move away from that we because need to move with, away from it because the racing on I, look well my opinion is racing on Zwift is not fun people think they have fun I think they think they have fun I don't think they have fun I think that's all they have and then they make that fun they're like okay. wow this is better than nothing this is better than staring at the wall. And that's why I hope my whoosh and Indy Velo gets like, I like racing with the bots in Indy Velo more than I like right, racing in anything. Because one, I know they're bots. They're going to do weird things. And like, oh, they're bots. <laughs> Instead of like getting mad at humans doing weird things. Actually, did you see the Indy Velo that yeah. the bots now will do proper positioning? Good. Strategic positioning. Yeah. Oh, there's nobody there. I want to ride I, pace bot. Well, People ride with bots all the time in Zwift. So yeah. they want it. That's why there's, that's why there's 15 bots. Holly right, said, let's go to the chat. Let's go to the chat. Come well, on. This, this is a good point. You just brought it up. So if Holly gets dropped or anyone gets dropped and then an ITT, is that fun? I will say this. Oh, no. Well, well, in an individual time trial? No, no. It turns into an individual it turns time trial. Into, like you're in a race. You get dropped, and then it's an ITT to the finish. Like, that's what I'm saying. So, 
Is that fun? Uh, I am one of the sadistic bastards that enjoy that because the other day when, when I got my trainer flat out disconnected twice on the Titans Grove KOM, I was like, I'm not going to get caught and I'm going to catch these guys in front of me. And I had fun for the next, whatever it was, 20 minutes riding a threshold to the finish. So I'm not saying everyone will have fun in that situation. You are in that the situation, last time, Ryan. The last time I had fun was the kiss I, ride where I got a huge cramp at the end. That was the last time I had fun on Zwift. That, that was great. No, 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 no. Yeah, the cramp was well, not I fun. Actually, yeah, but actually, hey, I hey, I, this is... This. Hey, we're doing we're this doing isn't... like 80 kilometers to, or whatever. I got the crap. If you're Go doing ahead. an individual time trial in a race, which happens to us all, we've all been there. We've all been dropped. Yeah, we this finish. is more of a, the races don't have enough people in them. Mm -hmm. but, yeah. A hundred percent. You can group like, up. I've been, you can wait yeah, around exactly. and group up. If unless there's nobody else in the race, people, which is what. Yeah, yeah. If you have 200 people in a start of a race and you get dropped guaranteed there will be other people that you will group up with yeah go that look is at the this. biggest problem yeah. right now is with especially with the comments of like oh we're going to get dropped off the a group and then i'll have no one to ride with no you should have 50 people to ride with that also got dropped off the a group yeah. this is more of like a bigger conversation I, of <laughs> is there too many damn zwift races i did the zwift minutes? games i did the zwift games and was dropped this is what's the you want the definition of getting dropped is do the Zwift games. And I got dropped. dropped. The first climb. I dropped on, like probably halfway up the first climb and I yeah. finished the entire thing. It wasn't an individual time trial. It was like, oh, I'm just going to finish because I want to finish. I want to be in the results. Yeah. That's what I go through in my head. But I'm not saying that that, oh, getting dropped. Well, that's not fun. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about just a regular, like when I was at Fit Fit, Super Fit, and I was just doing casual races in A, and it was like, oh my God, the swarm of bees would just, and it would be gone. If you like paid it, I would text in chat and oh my God, I'm dropped. You're one of those people. Yeah. That can text while you race. Yeah. That's Casey. I don't know how to do it, but Casey does it all the time. That was, I'm always like watching his stream right. going, how do you even have the ability to like form sentences? And he's like strategically typing things. Good job, everyone. Yeah. Okay. Was, now you attack. And yeah. I was looking for a race to do today like this morning, because I did my, I did my time trial yesterday. I'm like, Oh, I I'm feeling good. I'm, I'm inspired. I clean both bikes today. I'm like, Oh yeah, I'm, I'm back in. I'm motivated. I'm f getting fitter. I did my race, blah, blah, blah. Like, Oh, I think I'm going to race. Which won. I, yeah. We'll get to that later. The kiss race only had like, like at 10 o'clock at night. I was like, maybe I'll do the kiss race at 10 o'clock at night. They had like three people in it. Nobody in the bees. Right. So then I'm like, oh, maybe I'll do 6.15 in the morning, right? Kiss. Of course, Kiss is not going to do it. Everything is like, is just the Zwift uh, route badge or, or trinket, the trinket race. It's like, whatever you can do to get your little trinket is what people will race in, you know? And so that's where it's like, hey, do we want to thin out the racing or do we want to have events every hour? What if we had an event every two hours? Would there be more people or would be, people would be mad? So uh, instead of like putting up with Zwift, like a lot of people do, I, I find other things to do. So until Zwift makes something fun, I'm not going to tell her that it's fun. It's not fun. Even though we spend all this time, we spent a, a 45 minutes talking about the race score just because Lee's back in it. But Lee didn't, Lee doesn't want to race. He did it for content. <laughs> You're muted. It was strictly curiosity. I yeah. don't really like racing. It, pretty much within the first 30 seconds, I was like, yep, this is Zwift racing. Yeah. We're going 450 watts out of the pen yeah. for the first minute and a half. It's We're, the recovery race. Well, I had just done an hour of like ERG workout leading into the race. So that may have been yeah. <laughs> part of the issue, but I was... You got eighth place. Good for you. It was still fun. It's I look at racing more as a workout. I'm mean, there because chasing people pushes me harder. Yeah. So if I can chase a wheel, I will go deeper than I would normally go just riding by myself. So for me, even when I race ZRL all those years, like it strictly was just more for fitness than anything else. I didn't care what place I came in. It was like, I'm going to go hard 
as hard as I can. Uh, this, this is a good segue. This is a good segue into something because this is the difference of where my, my mentality is. And this is the, the difference between like, if, if we're going to get to this point, professional indoor racing or e-cycling, where we want to call it and casual, like, Oh, it's a good effort. Blah, blah, blah. There's a difference. So I did my race outside, which is a district time trial, uh, for my, for my district here. Uh, there was only, there was two people signed up. So I think it's labor day, one thing. Uh, but the other guy didn't show up. So at the, like right at the start line, I'm like waiting because I was nine Oh one and he was nine hundred nine o'clock and he wasn't there. So yeah, if I just finished the race, yeah, I win. But leading up to that, like I'm, I'm like having to get mentally prepared three, four days out. Okay. I got to get rid. How am I going to, what am I going to do? What's my kit? What am I wearing? What kind of skin suit? What's my position? What helmet am I going to go with? Blah, blah, blah. Cause it's a time trial. It's like a race against the clock, but some watt savings. Oh, I gotta, I gotta wax my chain. I gotta do all the, the prep. I gotta do all this stuff. When you just jump into a race, run casual race, that's not, it's a throwaway. But when you invest time, you gotta eat right. You gotta sleep right. You gotta try to do, uh, you gotta weigh yourself, all these other things in the virtual world. Those are, that's mentally tiring, you know? Like watching like uh, James Barnes doing his world's prep and there's all, and we can get into these other, these other uh, topics we wanted to talk about, but like people, I wish people would take some time and do like a uh, performance verified uh, high level race, whatever category they're in kind of like Lee, 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 I don't know what, let me, you tell me, did you, did you prep a lot for the, the Canadian nationals or are you just kind of like, no. Yeah. No, I know who all the competition was. I leading up to nationals, my goal this year was to do very long distance events. So to, I didn't want to put any prep time into a 45 minute event right. and wreck my training for gotcha. 10 hour event. But you, so it was pretty you, much just to participate. Yeah, yeah. So you, you didn't do like you did all the stuff, but you weren't like worried about it or spending mental energy on it. No, I know everyone that was, I looked at the, who all registered. Yeah. I knew everyone and I pretty much could have called out. I mean, in my category, I could have been like first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. I'll be like about 14th. Yeah. Maybe 13th, <laughs> probably 14th. So that, so the first year, the, the, what is it? The 2022 race. I don't know if you guys did it in 2022, Canada, but the United States won the e, the e-cycling national championships. Right. I didn't know where I was going to place, but I was like, I have a chance. Right. And I spent a lot of time worrying about that race and I was successful and I won that race. So now I want to race again. Then following year, I'm like, Hey, I don't want to lose. I want to win again because I want to win again. So I have to put the mental energy in. I have to put the fitness in. I have to put all the training and everything like that. But there's a lot of mental taxing that goes into that and strategy that you have to think about just a throwaway race is really easy to go. Oh yeah, it's not fun. So when I take things seriously in that sense, I want not every experience to be fun, and satisfying like a national championship, but have some, you know, growth in my experience. Right. And I don't know if we get that all the time because of the lack of experience from people. And I've finished my point here is I have to wake up early, load my truck, drive. Luckily it was a close, it's like 40 minutes away. Right. Cause are we talking close. about your actual real life win here? Yeah, my yeah. Well, I won last year, and I raced against five, six people. So just so everyone's on the same page, Brian is the NCNCA <laughs> District Time Trial Champion for the forty-five to forty-nine category. Yeah, yeah. So, but there, uh, yes, that, but there was nobody else there, so I def win by default. Oh, but it doesn't, matter. To, doesn't matter. Doesn't no matter. Doesn't matter. You're yeah, yeah. the but champion. They, but, but I'm de re de repeating. But the year before, I beat five, like six or six people. I think it was five, five or six people in the race. And so podium is one, two, three in, in, in district championships, right? So I wanted one, I wanted to repeat because then it justifies, oh, that was a good win. Well, it, it went downwards, but I had to mentally prepare to go, hey, I don't want to lose to one other person. So I have to mentally prepare 
to go down there. I'm running behind. I have to get my number, pin my number on. All he says, just run into my garage and throw it is, is not the same mental uh, planning for that. And that's why I hope people understand that, that the, the complaint department that I'm in right now is about the, the, the athletes that have put time into it. And it's not about having a fun experience. It's about understanding what it takes to do real life racing outside, but also indoor racing inside. And it takes a lot. Well, you are one of the few people, because when you were going for nationals every year, you were all in. You were like months yeah. beforehand, were training hard. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You were riding the course, like Hard Claws said, you lived and breathed the I course. I rode that same course for the first court, the first the 2022. I rode the course every single training ride I did for like three you months. You knew it. Yeah. yeah, and that's sort of like you were doing what it takes to win. Where yeah, because I, like I wanted to give myself the opportunity. I didn't know I was going to win. I am so luckily that one is that is one of my greatest achievements in, indoors, right? And that's the thing is the masters race. As hey, you're racing with people that are you think are the same fitness. Some people are not the same fitness, but if <laughs> if people are at the same level, the age is sort of going to even it out a little bit. That's why I prefer masters racing, right? And so there was opportunities for me in that race, which I've done a race breakdown a bunch of times on that. So we can do that one other time. If we want, not right now, but hard claws know that because he would watch me do this and be like, oh, I'm riding RGT. Well, the race was in RGT. I wanted to race in RGT, right? That's when I was doing the, uh, the Masters this last year. I raced in Zwift every time. Well, RGT went away as well, but I was very focused on that. There's a lot of people that do throwaway races but they never do a real, a real race. Like the pressure that after my race yesterday, the pressure was off and I'm like, Oh, I can relax a little bit. Cause for like two weeks, no, the four weeks that I was, well, I was like six weeks of training. I was like, I got to get fit, 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 fit. Because then you don't know how many people are going to sign up. Let's say 40 people sign up. Well, if I didn't train, Oh, I didn't train. I'm just going to show up and whatever. That's not, I didn't want to do that because I wanted to try to win again because I've had success. I used to didn't think I used to not think I could have you won and you couldn't even steer. I won. I couldn't even steer. I just, so I rode away. I had to off, to, yeah, yeah. off topic for a little bit. Bike Terra. How happy are you that Borrego is in and Bike I love Terra? It. I love it. I love it. I love it. Cause everyone else hates it, but somebody made it. I, I like the Bike Terra, uh, feel not feel, but like ambiance because it's like, it's a uh, goofy and it's like quirky. It's like cell shaded blocky characters. Uh, and it's like, it's so it's bad. Fun. It's good. Yeah. It's like, fun. it's like the graphics are just bad enough that yeah, I'm yeah. like, hell yeah. I like this. That's the, and the thing is there are little wins that Zwift could do to make it fun for me. I just don't know what they, they haven't done it for me for a while. I think there's a lot of people that like that stuff. But like, Bike Terra does it. Uh, my whoosh was was a big fun thing. The win for like the way it looks. We when did they release the uh, the new update? What three point eight? And there's a three point eight two, which fixes. Uh, Brian, you said it fixes the animation. Yeah. So I did the three point eight two, and I was doing a hard workout, and I just all I know is my dude was standing up all the time, probably because I was doing effort. But uh, I watched Casey and. Uh, I believe Scott as well, someone else. And the avatar is more tamed. Now he still stands up a little more for my liking because my personal style is pretty much in the saddle 99% of the time, but it, it does. It's better, better. than it was. They at least addressed it within a yeah. week or so. Yeah, they did address it. Now my wish doesn't give out any patch notes. Sometimes I'll say, Hey, we worked on this or Hey, you know, but I, I can't see anything besides the avatars being a little bit different uh, in this. Yeah, I had to re-download be everything because I did I did update. This wasn't on stream, but I did download the update and it had to re-download all of the, like the Australia well, world. So maybe okay, there's, a so, new, there's a new part of Australia that got downloaded? I, I don't know. I haven't, I've been knocking out the different courses. I already have Australia completed. So I've been working in like Arabia now because there's like 17. Uh, so I don't know. 
I didn't see anywhere in the Facebook or anywhere in the Facebook group saying there was anything added. Something though people are complaining about, and this may be my ignorance, they're saying it takes a half hour to install. Now I have a laptop that's below the minimal specs or right at the minimal specs that downloaded and installed my whoosh in less than 20 minutes. Fresh install, brand new from nothing. The update took two minutes and it I it wasn't even noticeable on my desktop. So like people are, are crushing my whoosh over the the download size, but I think this is the the Zwift curse too. They're trying to open up more people, but you're opening up to lesser devices. And now people are complaining because yeah, I think the difference is Zwift has the installer, like yeah. launcher app, the launcher app that then does yeah. the update. The my wish is weird because it continually asks you to go to, go to, to the Microsoft, Microsoft store, store yeah. and then you yeah. go to the Microsoft store and then something happens, but you don't know what happens. Then you open my whoosh and you then download it downloads something. Download, yeah. So yeah. you're like, oh, a... what just happened here? Like I had to go to three different places yeah. to get yeah. it to work. It, in my just rough kind of reading around over it, I guess like the base update comes from the Microsoft store and then all the fancy stuff gets added in. I, I don't understand it. Maybe That's so. Beyond, I can understand. Know, like it's world. like, hey, you don't, yeah, you don't want to be, yeah. You know, a huge download every single time it, some people are on wi-fi and they don't plug it into yeah. the wall and... so it that's my my thing you know I'm, I, I'm very in the middle of nowhere in redneck west virginia where we have very good internet <laughs> so yeah. but yeah but on they, that on that note you you the my whoosh thing let's yeah. bring it up so my whoosh previously was not considered a viable platform to v everest jeff rooney was the first to V Everest on the Snowfall Mountain. I know other people have done it in my whoosh, but as far as I'm aware, this is the first verified official on the site of Everesting uh, from my whoosh. I could be wrong. years old, 50, yeah. 55. He's done five, seven. Is that Everesting. what that number means? Seven Everestings? Yes, oh, seven Everesting. Know. Yeah, he, he did Snowfall Mountain like. Last week or so, I forget the exact date. What was it? It's twenty sixth. So yeah, he did it recently, and I believe someone else did it. I think I saw someone else doing. It. I don't know if they finished it, but I know they started it. So uh, they I think it, his name so was it's ben official Lee, so. on the v the or excuse me the everstein dot com or as if it's not on the everstein dot com website, it didn't, didn't happen. Yeah, right. It is like yeah. the only place. Yeah. For everstein, yeah. they are like the rule makers. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and it's funny too. One of the verified apps, I can't even find that exists anymore. So hopefully yes, that, that gets they up. They do have some ones that do not exist. Yeah. But the, the good thing is, is at least this uh, in my whoosh is. So do you have to do any up and down, or you just go to the top and cross the yeah. line and you get so your? What this is, it. it's uh, the Snowfall Mountain. Um, it, it is part, it is a climb in the game that you can free ride up to. You know, there's a few courses to go up. Uh, if you've watched Casey or me or anyone, the Blaze, the Blaze and Blizzard, it takes you through the volcano and then you up this mountain. Now, the Snowfall Mountain, you start at the bottom, you go up, there's a loop, comes down, loops up yes. 11, 13 times. Because that is a very specific rule in the Everstein, is yeah. you have to go down the ride, the climb. You can yeah. only go up and down the climb. So if the climb is a loop and you loop around and then go up the climb, it doesn't count. Only up and down. So I think that was my whoosh's problem because they have a lot of loops where this yeah. specific one goes up, down, up, down, up, down. Yeah. And then it when it finishes, when you get past the 80, 80 whatever it is, you tur do, turn into a loop and that's the finish. Why does that matter? We I don't know why matter. it matters, but oh. it's part of the rules. You have to ride down the route that you Where's went Fez? up. Is Fez in chat? Mark yeah. Ferris, everyone. He So he, he climbed a base camp. If you walk on a different, like if you walk off the trail, does it not count? Well, like, I gotta go take a leak, and you walk yeah. off the trail a little bit, and it's like flat. If we go into that, yes. And you're like, oh, it didn't count. It's like, get the f out of here. 
if you loop around flat on the top well that's the thing is we're not riding to the top of everest we're doing a hill repeat oh but we are oh we are. <laughs> well no oh, there we, was oh, that boy, one app there was yeah. that app called you can Soul. be drunk S- and and so if you walk up everest you can't walk back down and then walk no. back up and get credit sure like you can't have more Dude, I had these rules. So there was that app, Sol, S-O-L, that is no longer available. This is the fun police. You think I'm the fun police? This is the fun police. Basically, like you're saying, it's go up and down the same climb. Like, I have an excellent Everesting route by my house. It's half a mile up. It's 7%. And then the descent, the way my hill is, it's 10%. It's a continuous loop. I can do... I forget what it was one time. I had like 27 miles and like 6,000 feet in two hours or something like that. It, it was, that would be a great Everesting route. That is 100% Holly. That is what there needs to be an Everest on Zwift or my whoosh. Probably, Flip an probably Everest. copyrighted. So this is actually the Snowfall Mountain. It's probably the most accurate because it is nonstop up. This is no. what it should be. No, it's all the down. other ones don't count, in my opinion. This You're one going counts up and down on this one. It's not just Wait, what straight. Snowfall Mountain is not up? No, it's, it's not, not just... It's he, up and down. Up and down, up down. He did 13 repeats of Snowfall Mountain. Wait, this yeah. isn't just one long climb up? No. No. Virtual oh Everesting. God. Why are we There's talking no about one. this? I thought, this was, a, I thought this was a My Whoosh world where it's like you climb all the way up and you never go down and up. No. You go down. It's like a. It's like up built down, to go. Up, it's built to go up and down. Like you don't yeah, have to yeah. like hit the U turn button. There is no climb. <laughs> oh my god! god. Get, get this off the show. <laughs> Are you serious? There's, there's no climb in any virtual app. This is so dumb. <laughs> Why did they do this? Why don't they how make did, a climb that go like I'm, a climb I'm portal that goes all the way to the you top? No. How do you not know? Everyone because I don't care about this other. stuff. I don't care about V Everesting. I think it's a. There's too many rules. For a thing that's not, it should be just free flow. And like they've taken the spirit out of whatever this is. It's like gravel. And I don't even do gravel, but they've taken the spirit out of gravel. No, I it's do like, agree though. Oh there my should God. be. You, you can't go a loop around. Like you can't stop at Aunt Bev's house to get some lemonade because you didn't, it's not official. No. Dude. Yeah, the only, you the only are, goal this is, is to ride the, the elevation. Police. The fun police. Hey, well, I, I, I should have vetoed we this beyond the show. Maybe we need to petition my whoosh oh. and. Zwift like a climb portal. A climb oh, portal. God. Everest. Get out of the climb portal. I would, I would be happy no. for a climb portal that didn't Get do the, the up and down here. shit. Climb portal. The problem God. is no one would Everest because, well, I guess you could stop. But the whole point is virtual Everesting and Zwift is you can get off your bike when you're on the no, way down. No, 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 no. Virtual so Everesting the, outside the problem, is way no, harder. The problem with V Everesting is you have to get off your bike because you cannot ride up Mount Everest, right? You have to get on because they're you're you're simulating elevation. So what but if we you need can then, virtually make elevation? We need an actual Everest with the gradient changes of Everest, so you can actually say I rode I'm gonna, Everest. I'm going to petition Indy, Indy Velo to make their. Well, we can make this. Does someone have a GPX file? Bike Terra. Bike Terra. Terra. <laughs> Bike Terra. I'll do it. A, I'll be Someone the first footage? person to bike Terra. Like, bike you didn't go up and down. You didn't do it 13 times. No, because I went all the way up the entire time, like you're <laughs> supposed to do. And I'll create my own website. The oh, real Everest. So that's this chat. Someone give us an Everest GPX file. Yeah. Oh we need it. Fez, Fez can give we us need- base camp. We need a GPX file from ocean level. I'm to on the top board with of Everest. this. We're getting Bike Terra. I'm going to hit up the dude from Bike what? Terra. Mike at Bike Terra. Dude, um, wanna, it has to I be wanna... from ocean level, though. It can't be from base camp. It's got to be some road from the ocean all the way. No, it doesn't. It doesn't have to be anywhere. You can just make it the height. You can make it 8,864 8, meters. It could be from the, the atmosphere of the earth to the moon or whatever it is. It's virtual. You're gotta just be, doing elevation. You're going mountain. upwards. So someone or so can we make a virtual GPX yeah, file? Let's do it. I'm kind of interested in this now. I would do it. <laughs> I, no, I would do it no if it was would one continuous it. No climb. One would do it. I would do it for one continuous climb. I was like, oh, he's he would he would climb for 13 hours straight. No, he got off. 
Because that's the thing. I this is one thing I don't like the getting off and letting the bike go down by yourself and like going to you know do all this stuff. I understand people have to do that. I get it, but it's like that's not like sitting down and resting is one thing and changing your bibs. And I, I well, that's why I try not to outside. knock it. But like for me personally, I see it as like you should be going up the entire time, and then at the top you're done, and then you come back down. Well, see, that's why the Everesting outside even if you are doing the same route over and over yeah, again, because you have to stay on the bike. You have to get, mentally be on handling your bike yeah. down you the hill. Mentally be on the entire time. Yes. That's where it's like, I understand it. That I understand. Oh, uh, Ventop is the worst. I only want to ride it once. And then I was done. I like Ventop because no one's there. I got my guy sitting in the pen for Jersey unlock right now. I've done Ventop the full climb uh, three times. And Tuesday night will be the fourth time three for Jersey unlocks and one time, I don't know why I did it probably because I didn't realize it went up and top. I hate that climb. It's miserable. It's not. It's, it's oh, not. Jesus. You, you guys have no mental fortitude. So I'm fat. It's hard, man. It is hard. I do 300 watts. Turn the like... trainer difficulty down. <laughs> yeah. Cheating well, <laughs> you know what I'm going to do as just for science and testing, uh, my whoosh thinks my FTP is 343, so I'm going to attempt to do a whole goddamn hour up that stupid climb and beat my personal record. My PR is at one hour and 11 minutes. That's my new FTP. I'm going to attempt to do what my whoosh thinks my FTP is and average 340 watts for an hour. I will fail. I guarantee it. But hopefully Tuesday night I'll get to do that. So and we did have a co comment from chat there brian all right that, which uh, one which brian brian white that Ooh. he needs to dress up as aunt bev when doing for science a, a n t plus bev that's your yeah. name a n t b e v that's okay. what you need not and you have to have like a whole stream where you talk like robin williams as mrs doubtfire <laughs> oh <laughs> god that'd be great i could i gotta what see you, if i can that's find a good idea that's a good of... idea i like that idea yeah yeah, that'll be fun. And I, what is it? The, is now a like a a a a on the face. So where you leave the bike for a second and you come back as Brian yeah. White and yeah. you're like, yeah. oh, did I just miss Aunt Bev? Yeah. She was just here. And then you ride a little bit and then you go back and you come yeah, back yeah. as Aunt Bev. Heck yeah. That is hilarious. All right, you can get these rules off the screen for me. Are these on the screen still? No, they're, on the screen. they're not on like the stream screen. So many rules. <laughs> Such the Everstein rules. The uh, God. Aunt Bev does has an account on my whoosh. So you will see Aunt Bev in there uh, riding my whoosh just for science. I've got to figure out what to test right there because I don't know. Maybe we could test steering or positioning or whatever. Really test know racing test. score. That's what we need to test. Well, yeah, Aunt Bev would be a good one too because she she's in Lee's category. You know, we changed the name from for science. Now we're Aunt Bev. I will pull and, uh, Aunt Bev to the finish. Yeah. So may maybe here oh, I'll react. Uh, I, I do have a follow-up question for, for racing score. And Zwift Power has nothing to do with this. No. Okay. Oh, no. No, it's totally okay. Zwift Power. Good, 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 good. Okay. Yeah. Outside I I was of like, oh, what yeah. it is, it doesn't do anything with it. Okay. So it's they're slowly... Uh, getting rid of Zwift power or making it part of any sort of like, Oh, that's another them. long conversation. Will they yeah, ever... no, we've had that. We've had that conversation. Okay. Like, so will final... they ever... maybe what? Not. will they ever get rid of Zwift power? Yeah. They'll Probably eventually not. get rid of it. They don't want to pay for the servers their entire life. Uh, final Zwift thing, not the final thing. Cause we're going to talk about new stuff, but the, uh, uh, the HUD, the big late Reckless. summer HUD. Reckless speculation. Is it coming Tuesday? Tuesday. Is Tuesday the one? Hey, when do you guys get your fourth. updates? The fourth you're is you're getting it on Friday. Well, I get up my updates four days after everyone else gets their updates. Yeah. It's because you're, you're on the nine months. You're on the you're on the island. Phase rollouts. Zwift. You're on the island. Really? Yeah. You're on the island. It's already here for some? You got to be shitting Wait, me. no. The, have people have the new HUD? What? Who said that? Oh, Oh, yes. So, yes, Whoa. like Zwift Insider Dude probably has it. GP Llama probably has it. But the yeah. rest of the world 
Uh, does not have it. No, but does, does the rest of the world get it? it? What? Oh, so they if your last name is Pereira, you have it? Has it been has it been viewed outside of a screenshot? I was let, let me just ask this: outside of someone who might be have a hook in the Zwift, does any of the community have it? Paying customers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what, like because you're no, you're one hundred percent right. I think some who people are you, do. Who's one hundred percent right? Who are you talking? Please preface the person's name. Okay, chat. Like okay, Gabriella chat. may have yeah, yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, May oh, are we, now we're allowing it. we're I, allowing chat to have reckless speculation. Reckless speculation. May chat. May oh, now I'm May gonna have go it. Yeah, it, dude. Everyone has it. They just don't yeah, have right. it yet. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't see it. I don't know. I just put saw the that... rules on the chat soon. Yeah. Oh, everyone might have it. Of course they have it. Of course they have it. They have they have a new build. They what I was the, gonna ask they had the secret was, build. What I was gonna ask is was it sauce? Because some of those HUDs are kind of creative, or was it the actual one? That that's what I'm that's what I was Lee's gonna, gonna ask. Lee's gonna punch it up here. Punch I it up on what, the, what, what's do, do, damn... the the late summer HUD. Yeah. Even though doesn't summer end when Labor what? Day happens? And that's what I mean. Like because if 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 Gabriella has it. I'm, I don't count her as like a regular, I'm going to say fluffy guy in his basement or Aunt Bev. Not, did that's anyone I mean. with a not verified check have it? Yeah. So that, that's all I was meaning. I, I'm not, it may be out there. I don't know. But I, uh, I don't know. I'm curious because all I've seen is a screenshot. I like to see it in action. I'll have to go pull up her. I assume she streamed. I think it was yesterday. She was doing tiny races because I was watching uh holly and nathan do the uh stream mm -hmm. i'm just curious yeah. if they're going to make their deadline that's all i care about no they won't <laughs> i want to well late it's summer gonna, it's going to end up being halfway through this trainer season this is september is not summer anymore right that we're in we're in fall summer's summer is june july august right Right? Are we on quarter? What if we were on quarters? All right. In December, so I'm, winter. I'm looking at Gabriella's stream. And I'm not lying to you. If it wasn't for the workout she's doing, she's doing, like, I think, GP Llama's warm up. Uh, I would almost say that's a sauce. Looks very like. saucy. Like, I, and I'm not lying to you. Speculation. It, in my opinion, when I look at this, it looks like sauce to me. Pain like Inc. does his own. He turns off the HUD. He does it like Lee does. Yeah. Pain Inc., uh, fellow Canadian. If Can't this, if this is the new one, one, basically they just he put... does sauce. He does sauce over a HUDless yeah. Swift. If 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 this is the new one, and it, it very oh, well on, may be. Lee, don't you have the screenshot of it? Yeah, it, it to me it looks like the... Oh, uh, it's from the Zwift. Oh, Sorry, yeah. I was just going through the link that... Uh, Holly just posted from the last ZMS stream a day ago. Does Damon have it? I think Damon might have. Oh, I'm sure he does. Not, he's, he's... I don't know if he's got the full thing. No, he I has the broadcast. He's got, he has he the broadcast us, version of like the, he, bits and pieces. He, when he was on the show, he told us he had the broadcast. Because, yes, how... Damon is showing bits and pieces of the new hmm. HUD here and there yeah. throughout this race stream. The Zwift Insider tiny races that Holly posted. There is bits and pieces of the new HUD. You know who game. has? You know who has the new HUD? Zwift has the new HUD. You know who doesn't have the new HUD? I don't have the new HUD, and that's why I'm asking a question. Are we going to get it? We, as in the people that are we the, the community. people, yeah, we the people. Are we going to get it by Wednesday, Thursday, Friday? I mean, Brian usually gets things on Friday. Lee yeah, gets his on I'm Saturday. You're four days I out. Get mine I You're get on the, a, usually the, a Saturday. I'm always the last of the phased rollout. And that's why I constantly. Your last post. name is Z. But it shouldn't be because Zed. of that. Everyone Zed. should get Sorry, it at Zed. the same time. I would definitely say, after like watching some more of this, that I'm guessing this is the new. I don't think it's going to be sauce. She can't have sauce. She can't have, she's not allowed to have sauce. If she has a verified check, she's not allowed to have sauce. 
Is that one of the stipulations? That's one of the, yeah, that's one of the stipulations. Oh, you shoot. can't have a secondary account. No, okay. So they got the they 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 what my words suck. They have <laughs> her <laughs> drafting all the people around her and everything. They have right draft indicators? Just like not the drafting, but like the people nearby her, like who she's behind and all that. And the icons there. So that's that's what Send, send the link, send the link to Lee so we can get it on the stream. I need to see this. It was oh, here, hold on. It's gonna take ten minutes. We got ten minutes. All right. Annulment. I'm already out of beer. Are you out of beer? Oh, Maybe. Damn it. Yeah, right. it's empty. All the beers are empty. Oh man, struggling. All right, so all right, let's the, talk about while you get that up, I'll talk about something else. So Indie Velo had a release uh <clears throat> a new POV. So they have multi-screen support. So you can have if you have three monitors, two monitors, you can stretch it across and it supports the screen, which I believe is a Unity feature. Then you can actually change your POV of your rider in first person. And it can ex it can show the the handlebars. Uh, and the depth of how much you want to see of your hoods or the bar or the stem. And I randomly threw it on what Monday or two. Yeah. Monday. Cause I think I had yeah a little short, little stream. I really liked it. Now there's two things that I liked. I really liked the, uh, Oh, that's the new HUD. Yeah. No, that, Ooh, that is a hundred percent is the new HUD. That's the new HUD this on the top, top left corner is the, the new. HUD. Left, yeah. I don't know about the right yeah, middle part is She's got it. Yeah. Oh, she can run yeah. sauce and she can well, run sauce say, and, the, and the verified check. Yeah. She must know somebody. So I just got PM people that well. were in people got Slight off games. topic, but uh, our good friend Bjorn sent me uh -oh. Everest GPX file BK and he's like, yeah. BK needs to commit to this. If it oh. works on Black Terror, I'll do it. <laughs> I'll do like a holiday thing. I'll do, I'll do, it'll be a huge oh. training session. 26 if he, if kilometers way, with 400 or 4,300 meters of elevation. Wait, that's not that's, enough. No, it's, it's, it's in two files because it's too big to make oh. it into one file. I'll do it to not even get it certified. Is that what Bjorn's trying to get me to do? Oh, he, he was on this. The moment you said send him one, I got like a DM that was like, here's it, the damn if it works thing. In, if, it works in, uh, if it works in Bike Terra. There he I goes, might, 90 kilometers. Go. He's in chat, 90 kilometers, 89, 69 meters, one file. 89, what is it? 8,969 meters. meters in one file over 90 kilometers. That is so hard. It's, it's enough to get the verification? Yes, in All one right. file. Hey, I don't have any goals now. I did my time trial. So I I needed to, I was going to start a new plan. Maybe I just do a, a bike Terra. Everesting. One session. It's like eight hours, right? Nine hours. Uh, you know how fast I'm gonna cramp? I'm gonna cramp within like the first like two hours. <laughs> so shout out to Gabriella because we're using her oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. her video footage. Go like and follow her Twitch channel. So it's just the thing, but it's it's just transparent. This is sort of a mix. It's a mix. It's hey, it's, it's a different a mix font. of the new, a new font and Zwift. Different font. No, it's the same font. I don't know. It just looks different. No, it's the same font. Yeah. That is the new guest host. We have a guest host here. Oh, hello. Ooh. <laughs> well, no, I don't know. Here's my question is will the yes. new HUD be customized? Can we turn some of this off, move stuff around, or is it locked? She may in? be customizing it and well, going. From I want, Zwift I want Insider's, the original stuff. From the Zwift Insider thing, the top left corner where you have the four items, you can pick which four you want to see. Yeah. Hmm. I, the only thing I care about, and I don't see it on her stream, is draft. the profile. No, not the oh. draft. The yeah, profile. The profile I want the on profile there. of the course that I'm the on. I was there. I, Where? I saw it. I saw it. It's very small. It still looks like the old small one. Look at the oh, one on the Swift Insider let, screen. Let me, or maybe that's what I want. turned off. I don't want the segment profile. I want the entire race profile. So I know how many climbs are within the in the course that I'm doing. 
scrolling I, through a video to see. If I, it could, I could pops. be lying. I swear I saw up on top there was a. Uh... That is a profile right there. That's a segment profile. Go back. Go back. Tokyo. Neokyo, whatever. Yeah, that's not correct. Go like, I did in the like Zwift Insider thing. Go, it did like, go like two minutes ahead. Go to like the KOM. There. See it? Oh, right yeah. I knew I saw that. That's I want. That's better. See, I, I like that because you you. That's Wait, like is that, is that gonna stay, does that stay up there the whole time? No, mm. no that's no. why does I couldn't find after you I would like KOM. to see this to say the whole time. I want that there the that whole time. Be... That's what I want. Uh, I like it on the climb too, but I mean, no, I want it there the whole time. Yeah, I like the RGT profile at the bottom. I love that. And then I know, oh, I have like the I have two, three, four efforts, and then I have a flat, or I have this, or I gotta. I got what you're saying, yeah. I want to see what I got, and then because when we would do laps in RGT, you'd you'd go through the whole race, and then it would lap and go back to the beginning. Yeah, I got what you're saying. That's funny. This when you is this. I can't see ahead. I want to see ahead. She always looks like she looks like she's on the limit, but then somehow magically always has like three more gears. Yeah. You're like, whoa, she's pushing hard. And then all of a sudden, you're like, well, actually, she wasn't pushing hard because now she's going way faster. It's nice to see the gradient changes. Yes, I do like that. Hmm. So as there though, are we going to get this Tuesday? Tuesday? Really? I Us? hope. Maybe. But I want to... So in the mini map, you can't get the full profile. But you see this. And you leave this up. This is better than nothing. I'll take it. Well, it's, it's showing, unless it's just like auto popular. No, she's it's showing, showing the two climbing. laps. See the lap? There's a lap. Two laps. You see the the whatever it is is lap yeah. one of I'm one. I'm curious if when Wait, she why is it lap one of one? And there's a line in the middle of the. So sorry for the audio only. On There's lead in. That's why. Oh, and it's gone now. Nah, yeah. Gone. Once she got to the top, yeah. Once she no, got, no, she, didn't cross, she didn't even cross the KOM. This well, is the KOM. It flattens out right there. That course flattens so out. You get to I want to know when there's a downhill. Well, can I know when there's a downhill? Uh, it'll be right here in a oh, second. God, whatever. I, I want it all. Give me the profile on the screen the Is entire time. Oh, just because there's a thing. I, I get it. I get it. Okay. Exactly. Zoom Casey. in on me. Zoom in on me. No, we're not zooming in on me. <laughs> Zoom in on me. Only Zwift only cares about climbing. They don't care about downhills and they don't care about flats. It's always about climbs. Yeah, huddle up, huddle up. Yeah, huddle up, huddle up. It's only about climbing. It's all about climbing. I can't hang on the flat. I'm too light. I can't hang. Do you understand how hard it is to climb versus going downhill and going on the flats? People complain about, oh, they can't hang because they're too light. I'll trade you. I'll trade you. 100% I'll trade you. Thank you, Lee. Appreciate it. When I go downhill, I'm fast. Oh my God. No one can I can't come believe close I can't stay on the bike there's, when I'm going downhill. There's dudes in Zwift who are still holding my wheel on the downhill. Yeah. And in real life, no one's ever held my wheel on the downhill because no, everyone else is 170 pounds. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God. It's so hard. I got dropped on a downhill. Bigger than, remember we did that? I did this on my stream a long time ago, maybe two years ago, where I got dropped. This is when I stopped doing ZRL. Cause I was with my team it was Penvela. We were doing it. And I'm like, I'm, I did this whole, like the Yorkshire climb, that one climb that turns left, like immediately turns like a 90 degree left and you go down. I was like, I'm done. I need to rest dropped out of the pack on the downhill. And I'm like, what? This is why I don't want to do this game anymore. RGT. They nailed it. Hey, they, they, they made it nice for, for big dudes. There you go. All right. Well, she signed her NDA and got available to show it on stream. Good for her. Thank you for the uh, content. That was yesterday. So hopefully it's coming out. Yeah. I, suppose I just want, I want the, uh, I want the, the profile on the whole entire time. That's what I want. Well, Brian maybe, doesn't care about, Brian doesn't awesome. care about going downhill. Like Brian doesn't care about going downhill. He's like, I don't need to know when I'm going downhill. I know all the courses. I know all the courses. I, I uh, I know the whole entire world. Now, I may not know the exact course, which way direction it goes, but I could pretty much know what's coming in any world in Zwift. 
Right. Then why did they put it in the game if it wasn't necessary? Because they're listening to the community. Yeah. Well, leave the entire profile on. I, this is what I want. Okay. Here you go. I don't know why I keep asking a game that doesn't make it fun for me to do things that I might want, but I'm going to do it again. Here we go. You can, you can hit G for graph on the keyboard, right? You can have your, your graph. I want one for P profile. I don't want to see my graph. I'll hit P and you put the profile at the bottom feature request. And you can swap them off if you want. Yeah. No. Brian's reading chat. He's like, oh, wow. Oh, yeah, the, P is the yeah, promo I was code. Say, yeah. P is a promo Smith, code. Uh, Give it a promo code. The unlocks, promo. No, promo. they don't do that anymore. You have to yeah, do, do an event. They don't do that, promo. No. You, they brought the promo codes back, but you can't enter them in the game anymore. You have to go to the website, like a gift card, and enter it in. And take it out Good of the thing. game. Since it doesn't, you can't do it anymore in the game. Take it out of the game. They're still there. And put it in the game as profile. P for profile. Yeah, no, I understand what you're saying. I think that would be a good feature. I'm just giving you a hard time. I know you are. I, but Look, yeah, it would be a good feature. All my features are though. good features. <laughs> no, there, should be, there should be like oh, six Yeah, they are. Options. They're very good features. What? There should be like six options to choose from. That is the problem is there's no options. Yeah. Like you should be able to be like, what this map is like do you hybrid. want along the bottom? Do you want to see segments, the full course, blah, blah, blah. And you could pick yeah. one of the three yeah, different scroll, things. Oh, you, scrolling. You can have a scrolling profile. You can have a static profile. Or you have a zoomed in profile. 500 meters ahead. One kilometer yeah, yeah. ahead. Scrolling. That's fe that's phase two of the feature. 2028. Yeah. We'll get that. Maybe. Yeah. This is a hybrid HUD that she has because it's like, it's still the same menu. It's like not a new, it's not a new entire thing. It's just race HUD. Or is this, this is a phased release? Cause you the, know, it's cause, phased. what the hell are you talking about? No phase of the, no, I'm saying, I'm, I'm saying that their, their release of the feature is not like a full revamp of the HUD. It's just a, spotty fix of a couple things that are the hud oh like the I mean, power like the blue like the blue uh, uh rectangle or square for power and speed and cadence and heart rate and all that other stuff kilojoules i guess that's in there that's gone the blue is gone now it's now it's transparent uh which is very which is like my whoosh and in the center it's transparent as well but it's still sort of the same layout it's like not a new I, layout it's more of a condensed layout so I, I will say this. Scroll ahead. She's got minute 40 in this, in this pen. I will say this for getting a new HUD and just seeing what she has right now and not being able to mess with it. I don't know what I wanted, but like, this isn't really that like, Oh my no, nobody God. Asked for this. Nobody asked for this. Yeah. That's the same. It's going to be in every comment. Zwift, Zwift Insider will release the article. And at the bottom, the first comment, nobody asked for this. Did you listen to the community? Because yeah. no one wanted this. Nobody wanted this. Oh. Thanks for this. Nobody wanted speaking this. Of, I wanted the profile thing, the which they have. They done a little bit. They've done a little bit, yeah. and so I'm, I'm a little bit happy with that. A little small, little happiness. But I think it could have been implemented more. Right, you're <laughs> fine. You need to do it. Everything. Bjorn's got it into bike terror now. Is it it's working? By has Bjorn Bjorn? Okay, Bjorn, I'll do it. Fine. Bike Terror route is live for BK. Uh, All right. Did you build it? You is built it like it. in? Is it in the route? Like it's the actual map. Like here, I'll see if I can open right. link here. This is what Bjorn has done. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my uh, god, that's sixty kilometers. Jesus. Oh god, it's nine thousand. Starting from the airport. Is that the real Everest? So you start from the air. Oh, the airport. You're right. So this is like the official Everestine. <laughs> this would be an official yeah, so Everest. Like, oh, I just got off the plane. Oh, here's my rental bike. I'm just going to climb Everest. All right. I'd have to do this. At, I'd have to start at like oh my 10 o'clock at night, do it all Dude, night so that I can have the day. Steep is that? no way. like 13%, isn't it? I might actually attempt this. This is interesting. Dude, this is, why is it Everest? 
Is that the title, Bjorn? You couldn't get Everest parentheses two? <laughs> Can we fix that? <laughs> All right, put it in there. I'll do it. It's in there. Look at this background. That is in by Terra. That. All right. All right. 60Ks upward. So you ride from the airport to the top. 9,500 meters of climbing. All right. That is a lot of climbing for every 10K. What's the Don. official? What, so we have to have our official, uh, what, trainer difficulty? A hundred. It, like, it has to be a hundred, right? Then yeah. I already do a hundred. What's the other one I do? And so Bike Terra has two settings. Here we go. This is the one. Bike Terra has two setting by two settings. It's it's trainer difficulty and then draft or breaking something. It's the real Everest. So yeah, actually, first before you'd even do this, as Casey pointed out, is this enough for a virtual Everesting? Can we go to the virtual Everesting oh, website care. and I be like, do dudes, you need to approve care. this? I know you don't care, but other people might want to do this. And oh yeah, you don't, yeah, you'd have to, yeah, if you want to get their credit. Because this is the real thing. This is nonstop <laughs> climbing all the way up the damn mountain. Duration, four hours and 53 minutes. Thanks for that, Bjorn. That was like super yeah. fast. And he lives on he lives on the computer. I send him a little side. I I, I do a little comedy with Bjorn on the side. I do a little dude. I give him little nuggets. Hey, what a comedy? A little insight into my my sense of humor. <laughs> Sixty kilometers at ninety five hundred meters. Do you know at a hundred percent what that average gradient is? I don't know. Hardcore. Take a guess. Twelve percent. Fifteen point eight percent. Oh, you need lower gears for that. God. That's death. Yeah, but oh. you wanted it realistic, so hell. This yeah. is this is, a re this is the real Everestine. <laughs> this is the real Everestine. This is the real Everestine. Yeah, they, you named oh it perfectly. My God. Bjorn, you named it perfectly. The real God. Everest. This is real. Look at that. It's even got. It's even got. Uh, tie is that tie right on the. Yeah, that's the open street map of like Tibet. Tibet. Wherever the heck this is. Oh, yeah. that's like uh the is that Thai? I can't even read that. Or read the characters. I can't read the characters, but I do whatever. Deep down. I don't think that is that Thai. That's not Thai. Looks like it. It's Tibetan, probably. Wow. All right. We got it. That's it. Wrapping up the show. Indevelop POV next Saturday. Okay. No, not next Saturday. Not next well, you Saturday. said you don't have anything to train for because you've just finished your time trial. So actually, next next weekend, next everyone is the right. world's semifinal. September oh, yeah, 6th. world's semifinal. Yeah, big big day. No, I'd have to plan this because this is a long day. I have to plan this out. It's not the the training. I don't need to. I can just I'll just do it. But uh, yeah, the uh, the sort of like hey. I need you to do, I need to not be bothered by the dog or anything like that for, you know, like eight hours. <laughs> so it yeah. might so be actually, a, this would be a good question. Would your trainer get so hot that it would shut down riding 15% for 60 kilometers? This is like a torture test. Know. Yeah. Because my Wahoo kicker V5 gets too hot to touch doing the Alp. Like doing this for this long. It's going to melt stuff. Yeah. It, it doesn't look like, oh, that's all 50. No, the average is 15%. Yeah. It, there's only a couple of spots where it's a little steeper than that, but it looks like a, just a 60 kilometers. The problem is it's compressed. Meters. Yeah. It's 60 kilometers. This is not very long. Like the elevation gain chart does not do this justice because look no. at the left side. It's 8,000 meters. Like on a normal ride, the oh, elevation yeah. chart would be like 700. Yeah, yeah. 60 that's, that's stretched, it's stretched out a lot. <laughs> yeah. It's stretched out a lot. <laughs> yeah. It, and Holly, she is competing in the UCI semifinals. Go oh, Holly. Go, go, go Holly. Friend of the show. Reckless speculator. <laughs> reckless <laughs> speculator. <laughs> That's our chat now. The reckless spec. The reckless speculators. Yeah, oh, actually, yes, right. actually, I'm making a Discord channel called 
reckless speculation right now because <laughs> that is perfect oh yeah we need to do those oh. things oh bjorn's been yeah. messaging me the entire stream i haven't been paying attention to it but uh yeah the the uci and that's so i do want to say i did two rounds on the uci worlds for my whoosh and it is fantastic it's beautiful i was really skeptical about it when it first released but after doing it yeah uh it's actually really good it, it gave I, me a chance see to win now i'm assuming some of these people like what was it uh andrew downey and then there was another guy from next i forget his name it was a japanese guy i'm assuming they were just chilling because somehow i beat them but i was behind the what second place u.s men's national two women olympians or something i can't remember mm. what the chat was saying and it gave me a chance to finish fourth and i think if when I did that, if I was in my fitness I'm at right now, I might have been able to keep my third place and be on the podium. But yeah. it's actually a really good format, and maybe next year, something people, you focus more on. people may know about it, but maybe next yeah, year yeah. I'll be a few in the yeah. spot to at least compete for it. Because I know there's yeah, some I, people that did. I was focused on my time trial, but now that I have that, I'm already looking for new stuff. So yeah, yeah Everstein, that would probably be just fun throwaway training thing and have a good time streaming it. Yeah, but the sort of like now I kind of wish I would spend some more time. Maybe uh, there's no way I could do this with uh, a World Series. I'm not. I'm not even in that realm yeah. anymore. I thought but about the, doing it, but, but the uh, the goal is to to hopefully have new stuff coming out. Like a, maybe an echelon is going to come back, yeah. national championships again because we're getting into that that sort of like mind space of like, hey, we need to be ready for that. Speaking of last thing, you got one more thing. I got one more thing. Ruby. So I saw Vuelta today. Ruby is a sponsorship on the side of the Vuelta. Now they have courses on, on there, but I haven't tried Ruby in a while. I went, I was going to do a sign up for a trial, but you got to put your credit card in, but I might just break down and just buy it myself and just use it for a little while. Uh, but I think there's the, uh, Liddell Trek, Lidl Trek, like they're a sponsor. So they're, they're having that sort of like pro team, splash of hey we use this as our training platform you know that sponsorship sort of thing uh but there is a course builder too can you do uh is everesting in ruby i haven't been invited to the course builder yet oh, you haven't okay i Ru signed ruby up for the is beta on the version list of approved you're approved no 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 ruby oh. is an approved everesting platform oh ruby is an okay yeah we're gonna get bike terror approved Bjorn's already got that email dialed in. Well, honestly, bike terror should be because you can make the exact. I don't know if you can U-turn. Well, hey, they're the they're the rule makers. They might veto you know I mean? it and be like, oh no, are you? There's no kickback from bike terror, so they're like, that's the thing. That's the beauty of the rules. When you have rules, you got to follow the rules, and whoever controls the rules gets to say who follows and who breaks the <laughs> rules. There you go. All right, play the music. Yeah, we're done. Yeah, is that it? That's an so. hour, hour and forty minutes show. We're getting longer in the longer in the tooth. So we much for dive. Brian's hard one hour cutoff. It used to be yeah, used to be like 59, 59, show's yeah, over, yeah, well, done. A longer leash What's for the dog. The music? The music What's the music? Is now? Can't you hear it? Yeah, I hear it. We got it. We hear it. I don't know. The reckless speculators. I don't know if they hear it, but I hear it. <laughs> I hear it. It's um, it's it's in my head all the time. All right, Brian, Lee, great show. Uh, good Aunt good night, Bev, everyone. Signing off. Aunt Bev is out. All right, guys, take care. <laughs> Appreciate everyone in chat and hey, uh, uh, all the questions and stuff like that. Check it out it's on the Discord. I think there's a link somewhere. And yes. email. I started emailing the questions. I probably won't ever answer them, but whatever. Uh, we'll uh, reckless speculate together. <laughs> Here, one here sec. I'll put the uh, oh yeah email. But it's right down here. No, it's not. Yeah. Comment, next week comment I'll, I'll and, be back uh, in my regular basement instead of the uh, yeah. office here at work. So yeah. Is that a rice maker behind you? Uh no, it's just some random packages. Okay. They're addressed to they're addressed to someone else, and no one opens them because they didn't want to like see what's okay. inside of it. Oh yeah. Okay. Good night, everyone. Good night, everybody. Bye. <laughs> See ya.